The EcoFlow Delta is a high capacity 1260 watt hour solar generator with an 1800 watt inverter. It can be charged from 0 to 80% in less than 60 minutes and up to 100% in about 90 minutes, making it the fastest charging power station on the market today. It can be charged with AC, DC, or solar panel, and it can take up to 400 watts of solar charging. It weighs 31 pounds, comes with a two-year warranty, and it can power nearly every appliance that you have in your home. So let's take a closer look at the EcoFlow Delta, and then I'll tell you how you can get one for $400 off for a very limited time. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if this is your first time here, my name is Russ. Yes, the name of the channel is 51 Drones, but I review a wide variety of tech products and portable power sits right below drones on my priority list. Now I'm into portable power because I believe that every home should have one, especially as our nation's electrical grid becomes more and more deteriorated every year. And it's inevitable that there will be power outages. Now I'm not a prepper or an alarmist or anything like that. I just believe in being prepared. After all, I am an Eagle Scout, but I believe in being prepared because I have a family that depends on me. And if something happens, I want to be ready for it. Now this review, you guys, is not a technical review. There are already several videos like that on Delta. There's a lot of guys that eat, breathe, sleep, everything portable power. I'm not going to do that. This is a practical use case review. And in just a little bit here, I'm going to walk around my house. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick things and I'm going to plug them into the Delta and I'm going to see if it can power it and I'm going to see how long we can run them. So it's 100% non-scientific. It is all practical use. And then also I will have timestamps for everything down in the video description if you want to skip ahead to any part of this video. So last year when my parents had a tornado, a alleged tornado go through their community, they were out of power for a few days. So I bought the king of all generators, the Honda 2200. And this thing Hands down, the best generator that you can buy, it's the most quiet, it's the most efficient, and it is the longest lasting. No problems at all. Definitely the best that you can buy, but there's some disadvantages to having a gas powered generator. Number one, you have to keep it outside. You can't run it inside because of the fumes. And so you have to run a bunch of extension cords and that's kind of a hassle. The second thing is you have to worry about it being stolen. You know, if it's sitting outside and you're running some stuff during an emergency at home, usually during emergencies, there's a lot of looters and they're looking for stuff like this. So that's another disadvantage. And then finally, you have to keep it up. You have to keep filling it up with gas. You have to change the oil. You have to maintain it. You don't have to do any of that with a portable battery, with a battery system, a solar generator. And so that's why I started looking at these because they were more convenient. I could keep them inside. I still have to probably use extension cords once in a while, but not as often as with the gas powered generator. So after that, I started looking seriously at battery solar generators. And so far, EcoFlow has performed very well in my evaluations. I have the River Pro and now the Delta. And I will say this right away, if you have even the slightest interest in getting one of these units and you're watching this before June 21st of 2021, you have the chance to get one on Amazon Prime Day for $400 off. And also, you can get the solar panel bundle for $650 off. That is a crazy, insane deal. Now, I'm gonna put a link in the video description down below. You will never find the Delta cheaper than that. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages of most portable power stations is the amount of time that it takes to charge them. Sometimes it takes up to 10 hours. But with EcoFlow's patented Xtreme charging system, the Delta can be fully charged in 90 minutes. That is a whole new level of fast charging. It's incredibly convenient and there's nothing else like it on the market right now. Now, one thing that you should know about that fast charge feature is if the Delta is hot or even a little bit warm, if you've just been using it, it will throttle the charging capacity down to protect itself. So. If you have been using the Delta for a long period of time and you want to charge it right away, you can't. It's best to just let it cold. Well, I shouldn't say that you can't. It's just not going to get the maximum amount of charge at one time. It's going to go much slower. Like for instance, I was just running my shop vac and then I was charging my DeWalt battery here for my chainsaw and my driver. 
and a box fan and a light. So it was running about 1100 watts. And I think I ran that for like 30 minutes. Anyway, I brought it down to like 10%. So now I plugged it in to charge it and it's only charging at 630 watts. So I think because it's so warm, like it's 90 degrees in here right now, <laughs> it was a hot day today. Plus I ran this, you know, for about a half an hour at 1100 watts. I think it's protecting itself. It's not taking in as much uh, power as it normally would if it was cool. So, but it did start charging right away. As soon as I plugged it in, it started charging. So that's good. But anyway, it's best to just let it cool down a bit before plugging it in if you want the fastest charge. The Delta LED display screen shows you all of the information that you need to know, including the percentage of remaining battery along with that indicator, and then also the remaining time at the current draw. Now I do wish that screen was a little bit brighter because sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see it in bright sunlight. On the front of the unit, you have two USB, two USB fast charge, and two USB-C ports. Right here is the unit power button, and then right here is the DC ports power button. On this side, you'll find the AC input and a circuit breaker with a 20 amp max. And right here is the XT60 connector, which is for using the DC charger and the solar panel. On this side are the AC outputs with six plugins, but now you can only plug in three of the three prong cords at any time. My recommendation is to always have a power strip handy. As I did mention, the Delta has an 1800 watt inverter, which means you can power pretty much any appliance or tool in your home other than your clothes dryer. So the first thing that I did, of course, when I got it was to test that fast charge feature. And when I got it in the mail, it had 30% power because you can't ship uh, portable power at 100% it has to be I, I don't know what it is I think it's like 50% or lower so mine was at 30% power I plugged it into the wall and at first it was only taking about 650 watts but then it, as it got going it got up to 1050 watts and that was the highest that it ever got and it took exactly one hour to fully recharge it using the AC power from 30% to 100%. Everyone gets a portable power station for different reasons, whether it be the just-in-case scenarios, outdoor adventures, off-grid tool work, or just to have power where there normally isn't any power. So now, let me show you how I plan to use the Delta the majority of the time. All right, so what I wanna show you now is my long-term use case for the Delta. So this is, or is becoming, my man cave. This is my kid's fort. I built this about 10 years ago now. And the kids don't use it as much as they used to. It's pretty much just become storage for us. So I've been working on cleaning this out all day and I'm kind of arranging it into my man cave. I don't have power up here, so I thought this would be an awesome use case for the Delta. I'm gonna keep it right here all the time, unless I wanna use it somewhere else. But for the most part, it's gonna stay right here and it's gonna power my lights. I have just right now, just some string lights up here. I am gonna put um, the shop light. I just kind of hung it up here quickly just to uh, just to see if I could I'm gonna have to run a cord across here I'm just gonna have to get another extension cord but I'll have television um, I'll have a little mini fridge that's coming later today I'm gonna put that right here so I can keep my beer my uh, pop and, and snacks and stuff in there but um, but right over here I brought in my uh, 8000 BTU AC unit I'm not going to use this on a regular basis just because it's going to pull too much power but I kind of fashioned a rudimentary vent here for the window. But uh, I just wanted to run it here and see, you know, theoretically how long could we run this thing. So let's go ahead and power this on. All right, so let's check it out. And that is running um, about 700 watts, a little under 700 watts, which means at 100%, we're gonna maybe get, you know, of course the math, works out about an hour and a half on there. So not something I would use on a regular basis because I really don't need it. I mean, I have three windows in here. I have two doors. This door right here leads out to the deck. I got a little deck area out here. So, and, and the kids are still gonna wanna come up here and play once in a while, but I'm still gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna make this my space because they have more important things to do, I guess, than come and play in the fort anymore. So. So yeah, and then the other thing you guys, you can run this, you can charge this the same time you're running it, you're using it, so it's in line. So I could, if I'm feeling ambitious today, I might still do this, but I have this 200 watt um, EcoFlow panel. So I could put this on the roof. Uh, this is facing south, so, and this is a slanted roof. So I could actually put that solar panel up there. I could just run it through uh, this little hole right here. This is my little antenna hole. 
but I could run that in and I could theoretically charge this the same time that I'm using it and I could at least break even if not gain energy on a good nice bright sunny day um, you know I won't be able to shift the solar panel at all but I thought hey you know that might be a good way to uh, to use the solar panel and I would never have to haul this into the house and charge it I could just do it you know right here charge it solar so so yeah so if you guys are, uh, are looking at powering a man cave that doesn't have power uh, the Delta could definitely do the job at 1800 watts and you could power just about anything you could even do a little bit of shop work in here you could run some tools that's what I want to do right now I'm just gonna try a bunch of different tools and uh, and see how the Delta handles them a 15 year old five cubic foot chest freezer and it's running at 100 watts right now so it'll run about 14 hours with the compressor on but of course the compressor is not going to run the whole time uh, it's 75 degrees right here in my garage and my freezer is full so it's definitely not going to run very often if it were hotter it would definitely be running more but at this temperature and with a full freezer you could probably run this for three or four days an angle grinder So you could run that for about seven hours and uh, it surged up to about 400 and then it averaged about 190 watts. So very cool. Two stage heat gun. We got low and high. Let's check low. About 980 watts and high. About 1,350 watts, so you could run that for about an hour. A 4.5 horsepower shot vac. Uses about 900 watts. It says an hour, but you're gonna get at least an hour and a half out of this. Your typical 12 cup drip coffee maker. Um, this is actually one of the most intensive uh, uses of energy in your home, one of the biggest pigs of energy. It's using 1100 watts right now as it's starting to brew. Now it's going to take about 15 minutes to brew, not quite. So that's going to definitely ramp down when the warmer comes on. So you might be able to make three pots of coffee uh, during an emergency. You know, coffee is vital. We need to have coffee when we're going through something stressful. So, so just know you can run your coffee maker with it. In addition to having coffee during an emergency, you're gonna to have to eat. Can it run an air fryer? I have no idea, but we're gonna check it out. Surge is up to 1700 watts. And it's using 1680 watts right now. So there's no other uh, portable power station this size that can run an air fryer and it's running it and you can run it for 44 minutes and most foods in an air fryer you can cook in about seven or ten minutes so yeah that's great that's awesome a roto zip tool Runs about 200 watts, so you could get about seven hours with this. All right, can I use this battery to charge this battery from my leaf blower? Because you know, in an emergency, it's really important that you're able to blow leaves around. So let's go ahead and pop this in. No problem at all, about 230 watts. So about five hours. Um, normally this takes about three hours to charge if it's fully depleted. So I could charge my leaf blower and uh, make sure that I blow away any leaves during a major emergency. <laughs> All right, a garage fan that I uh, use to keep cool in the garage. On high speed. About 15 hours, 90 watts. How about a circular saw? No problem at all. You'll see that it surged all the way up to 3,100. And this has a surge, max surge of 3,300 watts. 
So it surged up to 3,100 and then it leveled off at about 750 watts. So you could use this to saw with a skill saw. This is a seven and a quarter inch craftsman. And uh, that is really, really impressive, you guys, with that much surge. And this handled it no problem at all. Now, what's one of the worst things that you could ever come home to or wake up to, and that's water in your basement. You can get a small pump just like this. You don't have power. Maybe the power went out, your septic tank backed up, and uh, you need to get some water out of your basement or out of anything. Let's try this little water pump. <laughs> 12 hours, not a problem. That only runs about 100 watts. You could run just about any size pump. You could. I'm actually going to hook this up to my, um, I'm not gonna do it today, but I'm gonna hook it up to my septic tank pump. I got a three quarter horse effluent, three quarter horse effluent pump in my septic tank. And uh, that should be able to run that, no problem either. So if you have a septic tank, just have a battery backup in case your power goes out. So you'll still be able to flush the toilet and take a shower and run the water and stuff like that. Uh, so for those of you that live in a rural community or in the edge of town where you have a, a septic tank, um, great option to have portable power. All right, 10 inch miter saw. Should I try it? No, I'm not even gonna try it because I promise you the surge on this thing will trip that breaker instantly. I'm not even gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you right now, even this thing, the Delta with the 3300 surge is not gonna handle a miter saw like this. Maybe a smaller one, maybe like a, a seven inch or whatever the next size down in. This is a 10 inch and uh, it definitely is gonna take too much uh, power off of there, so no. Not gonna try it. <laughs> I just got my mini fridge in for my man cave and this is a 3.1 cubic foot. And right now the compressor's running. I just plugged it in. Pulls about 65 watts. So you're gonna be able to run this straight through about 20 to 21 hours uh, with the compressor on the whole time. Of course, that's not gonna run the whole time. It really depends on the ambient temperature and everything like that. So, uh, so you could definitely run this mini fridge for quite a few days. Uh, in normal temperatures, but uh, so if you add this to my light and my television and a fan in my man cave, I'll be able to get about 10 hours with everything on all of the time. Of course, like I said, this isn't going to run the whole time. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be a great solution for what I want to use it for. All right. So the reason I wanted to do all those different tests, you guys, is I just wanted to do some practical applications and show you guys that you can run almost everything that you have in your house, except for your clothes dryer and a miter saw you probably can't run a miter saw that's going to trip the breaker but just because the surge is so high on that but you can run just about any other tool uh, around your house lights and things like that it's great for camping you know if you want to charge like your laptop or if you're working away from home or something like that um, for short-term solutions and for emergency you know type situations the delta is amazing it is the perfect it's, it's so powerful it charges so fast the thing is, if you're looking for something that you're going to use on a long-term basis, like if you're an overlander and you're going to use this, you're going to charge it up every day, you're going to use it every day, so you're going to be cycling it a lot, um, it's not going to last as long as you want it to. And then also the efficiency for long-term use is, is not that good because, number one, you're only going to get 800 cycles and then you're going to be down at 60%, so you're only going to get about 60% capacity on this one. And so I really don't think this is meant for long-term solutions. I think it's meant for you know, like emergency purposes and, uh, and just occasional use and as needed use. So, uh, so yeah, the Delta, 1260 watt hour, 800 watts. You can't go wrong, you guys. It's really, really good. So as you can see, the EcoFlow Delta packs an incredible amount of power into a relatively small form factor. It's a perfect solution for emergency power, off-grid tool work, camping, and man caves. <laughs> for a daily driver, I would not recommend the Delta, but for all those other use cases, it's great. And for just a couple of days, on June 21st and June 22nd of this year, you can save $400 off of one by using the link down in the video description. And then also, if you want a bundle package with solar panels, you're gonna save $650. So come back here on the 21st or the 22nd and use that link in the video description if you've been waiting even a little bit for a great deal on one of these units. Comment your questions about the Delta down below and if I can't answer them, I will reach out to EcoFlow and I'll get an answer for you. They used to get a bad rap for their customer service, but I think just in the last year, 
they have gotten much better, and that's based on the reviews that I've read. Regardless, feel free to use me as your way to get your questions answered. Hit that like button, that thumbs up button if I gave you anything of value today in this video. Subscribe to become a member of this community. Thank you for watching the entire video today. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.